Hi y'all, Justin with Kayak Catfish. Well, I am on the river and I am going after some cats today. I ain't gonna lie, slept in a little bit this morning. I don't know about y'all, but it is hard to get motivated to get up out of bed on these cold mornings. I'm hoping some of these catfish slept in a little late today too, but when they wake up, I got some skipjack and I got some crappie that I'm looking to feed them. So I'm making my way up here, gonna fish a point today. With our water level down here for winter drawdown, I think this point's probably gonna be 35 feet deep or so, give or take. But I'm gonna suspend my baits off the end of that point and hopefully as some catfish get active this morning, they're gonna move up on that point and there's gonna be my baits waiting on them. So I'm gonna get up here, get set up, come with me today, let's catch some catfish. All right guys, let's get our bait cut up here. I'm gonna go two rods baited with skipjack. I'm gonna do a head and a chunk. And this here's a crappie I caught on a recent ultralight trip. I'm gonna do a head and a chunk on it also, on the other side of the kayak. So left side of the kayak will be skipjack, the right side will be crappie. That's gonna be the four baits we start with. We'll let the catfish tell us what they want from there. Y'all, I got hit right here. Sorry, I got a mouthful of trail mix. That rod's just sitting there. Yeah, we got him. We got him on a skipjack head. I tried to eat me a little breakfast. Got a pack of trail mix and this fish said he wasn't allowing that. This fish knew I was going to interrupt his day. He's going to pull some drag now. This one's strong, buddy. This one's strong. Yeah, folks, man, this one's a pulling, buddy. This one's a pulling. Let's see if I can turn that camera. Look at that rod, man. My golly whopper rod is doubled over man I wonder if it's not a flathead the way he's fighting goodness gracious it's very possible this is a flathead the way he hit it he kind of he, he hit it and just sat there with it and then when I cranked down he took off man he's fighting hard too he is fighting hard oh man <laughs> that's on a skipjack head I got my two head baits up front and my chunks in the back. This is the first bite, the first tap, anything. I've been on the water now, I don't know, 45 minutes or so. Oh, there he goes again. Oh boy, he's strong. This is a good fish right here, y'all. This is a good one. Oh man. I can't wait to see this, y'all. Well, I can't wait to see this one. I just want to know what he is. I, I, I strongly believe he's a flathead. I should be getting close here. I'm just 35 feet deep, but I just, I've had a hard time making progress on this. Oh, that's a nice flathead. Nice flathead right there. He's in my back line. That's okay though. That's okay. That's a nice flathead, man. There he goes again. Oh. I'm gonna take my time with this one, y'all. I'm gonna play him out just a little bit, tire him down. That's a dang nice flathead. That's the best flathead I've hooked into in a little while. So, man, I'm happy about it. Oh my gosh, look at that mess, y'all. He got all of my other lines, all of them. He's got one bait in the mouth, the skipjack head in the mouth, and every other line is <laughs> up there. What a mess, but totally worth it. Oh, goodness. Come on in, Flatty. Come on in. Oh, man. What a tangled mess. I'm gonna have to cut some lines and retie everything, but oh my gosh, is it worth it. Oh man, look at that beast right there, man. That is a golly whopper of a flathead, buddy. Holy cow. Oh, this one's fist pump worthy right here, y'all. Let me hold him up. Oh man, that's nice. 
<laughs> Starting out today with a trophy flathead, man. Oh, that's a beast, buddy. Man, my last trip out, I went fishing yesterday afternoon. Fish till dark, a few hours. Couldn't hardly buy a fish. Thought I'm gonna try the morning hours, get up here, freeze my butt off. This paid off big. It's paid off big, man. <laughs> oh, I've missed these big flatheads, buddy. What a battle. <sighs> Whew. Thank you, Mr. Flathead, man. He is, you can look at this thing, man. Look how thick he is. You can tell he is feeding up for winter. Our water temps in the mid fifties right now. He is feeding up. Whoo. All right. Let's do what we do on these big trophy class fish. Let's let it go so he can go down there. And heck, I might battle him again someday. I sure hope I do. Oh man, that's awesome. There he is, folks. Man, that is a beast. The beast from the east. And he gone. That's double fist pump worthy, man. Golly whopper flathead. I didn't know what to expect coming out here. I ain't been fishing the morning hours lately just because it's been so dang cold. I've been waiting until the afternoons and it warms up a little bit to even attempt going. Today's oftentimes a morning bite and sometimes in these, in these colder months, you know, the winter months, the morning bite instead of being at dawn will oftentimes be nine, 10 o'clock in the morning. So it's a little bit later. It's still a little too cold for me in the morning hours a lot of times. So I got out here today it's paid off man i'll be going home happy today but hopefully going to catch some more fish in the meantime i'm going to get all these lines untangled he somehow got all three of my other lines and has made a mess so i'm gonna get that mess untangled drop it back down see if we can get some more we have another one here y'all this line got hit and my rod tip kind of stood up he's got it there We'll wait and see if he wants me to crank down on him or if he wants to swim off with it. I'm willing to accommodate whatever he wants. This is his day. This is his special day here getting to be on a YouTube video. I guess he wants me to crank down. Yep, I guess that's what he wanted. And you know, I'm here to make this fish's dreams come true. I'm like the make a wish for these small catfish right here, man. And this one is a small one for sure. At least he's going to leave us the bait on there. I just spruced up my baits a few minutes ago, so it should still be perfect condition. Well, there's our bait. That was a small chunk of skipjack that he eat. Well, there's the small catfish to go with. Get out of here, buddy. You're a welcome fish. Yeah, y'all, kind of I mean, you saw there what I was doing, kind of mixing up my bait sizes. Got the heads, which are a little bit larger baits, and then that skipjack chunk and the crappie chunk. I trimmed down, cut the gut pockets out just to give them a little smaller profile. Sometimes with our water temperatures cooling, smaller bait can, can get it done, but you know, that flathead ate the big head bait. So, uh, you know, it's good to have options. Good to have a variety down there. So I'm gonna get this bait. Again, I'm going to drop it back down. Got the stinger fly under it there. We'll drop it down, let that sinker hit bottom, raise the whole rig up a couple, three feet. And it's going to be sitting there right in their face as they move up onto this point. This back rod here just got hit again. There it goes. Now that one's going to take it down, ain't he? That one wants to pull a little bit. Look at him go, man. Now he's going to take a little drag, ain't he? Goodness. Well, it's really me and y'all. If he wants to be on the program that bad, let's just go ahead and make it happen for him. That's another one on that small chunk. And I don't know if, you know, that they just chose that bait or if it's the first one they come to just from the direction moving up on this point, you know, who knows? Either way, we've got another bite. Oh, he's wound up too, ain't he? 
Get some here. He's another, he's another smaller one, but a little bigger than the than the last small one. He is all lassoed in that line. That's why he's acting out, buddy. He's got it all, he's all tangled up in it. You know what? I think I'm gonna do on this one. I'm just gonna lift him in just like that. He's got the he's got the hook in the jaw. But he managed to just wrap that line all around him when he was laying down there rolling. And now he don't want to open his mouth for nothing. This fish is showing out right here. He's having a temper tantrum. There we got him. He couldn't have wrapped himself up like that again if he tried. <laughs> he just, I guess, got that bait and rolled and lassoed mess. Tangles have been the theme of the morning. But that one wasn't nearly as bad as what that flathead done to me. I'm gonna switch another bait out here. This one's, he's chewed it up, man. This thing is, that's what's left of it right there. So we'll switch that out, put a fresh piece on, drop it down, and we'll be ready for the next fish. Well, guys, I have logged a few hours out here this morning and I haven't gotten many bites at all, but I got the one bite that I wanted, man. Anytime I catch a trophy fish, it's a good day, but especially when I get a trophy flathead, man, those are just, they're all special to me. So anyway, I'm gonna be going home with a smile on my face, but I'm gonna, I got about an hour or so left that I can fish. I think I'm gonna reel up and go hit a creek down here with my ultralight rod. I did bring my ultralight and my uh, skipjack rod with me uh, just in case I had some extra time and I haven't had a bite from the catfish, not a peck or anything. and hour hour and a half here now so i think this i think my window of opportunity has closed on me here so i'm gonna make the most of the time i got left and go with my ultralight rod and see what i could pull off some brush so anyway before i go though i'm gonna do something here y'all i'm gonna reel in this front line that's got this leader that i caught the, the big flathead on and i'm gonna clip this leader and i'm gonna make something cool out of this I'm gonna take this leader and I ain't gonna take his head with me. Lord, that thing will be rotted in a few days. We'll get rid of it. But I'm gonna take this leader and put it in like a frame and a shadow box type thing with the picture of me and that fish. And it's gonna be pretty cool. One of y'all out there may want it, you may end up with it. Who knows? I done some stuff like this last year. The people who got the items loved it. The rest of the internet through all this hate on me, man. You can't do anything like that. I hate that comment box. That's the bottom line of it all. I can't believe I still have that comment box turned on. But anyway, took a lot of flack for it. But again, the people who like that kind of thing loved it. And I've had a lot of requests for more of it since then. So I'm gonna just take this leader and my fly here. And uh, who knows, it may turn out to be pretty cool. So anyway, enough of me flapping my gums here, y'all. There's some crappie on some brush down here. That's calling my name. I'll see y'all again soon. Thanks for watching.